Imagine the biggest alligator you've ever seen. Now, double it. No, triple it. Give it teeth like daggers and a bite that could crush a pickup truck. This wasn't a movie monster. This was Dinosuchus, and it ruled the rivers of ancient America. Yes, this terrifying giant haunted the waterways of North America around 80 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. Forget T-Rex lurking on land for a moment, because in these rivers and coastal swamps, Dinosuchus was king. Today, we dive deep into the world of this incredible predator, the terrible crocodile, to uncover its staggering size, its immense power, and the evidence showing it hunted creatures even bigger than itself. Let's travel back in time. Picture this, North America, 80 million years ago. A warm, shallow sea cuts through the continent. Along the marshy coastlines and wide, slow-moving rivers, the air is thick, humid. Dragonflies the size of birds flit past giant ferns. And just beneath the surface of the murky water, patience, our Dinosuchus, a mature giant stretching maybe 40 feet long and hasn't eaten in days. But it doesn't need to rush. Its cold-blooded metabolism is efficient. It can wait. Its eyes, positioned high on its head, scan the riverbank. Its sensitive skin picks up vibrations in the water. It's an ambush predator, perfected by millions of years of evolution. And then, opportunity arrives. A group of Ankylosaurus, hefty plant eaters, are coming down for a drink. They're wary, constantly scanning for danger, but thirst drives them on. One, perhaps younger or bolder than the rest, steps closer to the water's edge. In a surge of mud and water, the riverbank erupts. It moves with impossible speed for its size. There's no escape. Those jaws, lined with thick, conical teeth, built for crushing, slam shut with a force we can barely comprehend. Potentially stronger than a T-Rex's bite. The struggle is brief. The giant reptile drags its massive prey into the deeper water. Silence returns to the riverbank, broken only by the frantic calls of the retreating herd. How do we know this nightmare was real? The story isn't just imagination. It's etched in stone. Buried deep in the earth, relics of the terrible crocodile whisper its secrets. Across North America, where ancient seas and rivers once dominated, fragments of its colossal skull emerge. Thick, heavy bone hinting at unbelievable power. Its armor plating, bony scutes called osteoderms, are found scattered like monstrous cobblestones, remnants of skin tougher than any shield. Piecing these fragments together reveals a predator stretching up to 40 feet, longer than a school bus. Its sheer size dwarfs even the largest crocodilians terrorizing waters today. Its kingdom spanned the continent. We find its remains embedded in the rocks of Texas, all the way north to the river valleys of Montana, ghosts of a time when water levels were vastly different. But how do we know what it hunted? The bones of its victims tell gruesome tales. Dinosaur fossils bear the unmistakable signature of its bite. Deep, bone-splintering punctures. Some even show signs of healing, testament to prey that miraculously escaped the death roll. Others weren't so fortunate. Giant turtle shells, thick as dinner plates, are found pierced like paper. Fatal wounds matching the terrible crocodile's dental arsenal perfectly. Nothing in the water was safe. Was it truly a crocodile? Or something else? That broad, crushing snout gives us a clue. More alligator than croc in its profile. Placing it within the ancient lineage of alligators, the Alligatoroidea. Not a direct ancestor of today's gators, but a monstrously successful cousin that took size to a terrifying extreme. It thrived 82 to 73 million years ago master of the warm, brackish coastal swamps and immense river systems where fresh water met the salty sea. But even giants can fall. Interestingly, Dinosuchus vanished before the asteroid strike that doomed the dinosaurs. Its world was already changing. Shifting sea levels, altering coastlines, perhaps impacting its primary food sources, the exact cause remains elusive. The reign of the terrible crocodile ended not with a bang, but a slow, silent fade into extinction. 
So remember Dinosuchus, a 40-foot relative of alligators, apex predator of late Cretaceous North American waters, a bone-crushing bite taking down dinosaurs, a true terrible crocodile. Makes you glad these river kings are confined to the distant past, doesn't it? What part of the Dinosuka story blew your mind the most? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this journey into the savage past, crush that like button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to join us for more explorations of prehistoric life. Thanks for watching.